Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Ivanka Trump converted to Judaism before marrying Jared Kushner, an Orthodox Jew, in 2009. But a woman who converted under the instruction of a same rabbi was denied a marriage license in Israel. In Israel, if you are Jewish, you have to be married by an Orthodox rabbi. And the Orthodox rabbinical authorities will not grant a marriage license unless they certify the couple as Jewish. Individuals from abroad whose parents were not married under, under the auspices of the rabbinate must therefore provide certification, usually from their congregational rabbis, back home. Nicole Zaitler, whose conversation was overseas by Rabbi Haskell Lukestein in New York, was rejected because her conversation, her conversion, was not deemed legitimate. Rabbi Lukestein of the congregation Kehilat Jerusalem on the New York's Upper East Side is the very same rabbi who sponsored Ivanka's conversion 10 years ago. While highly respected as a member of the Rabbinical Council of America, Orthodox rabbinic authorities in Israel have questioned the legitimacy of his conversions. After Ms. Zaitler appealed her case, it was upheld in July 2016 by Israel's Supreme Rabbinical Court, the highest religious court on the country. The court acknowledged her commitment to Judaism, but not the validity of her conversion. In the end, Ms. Zaitler had to undergo a second conversion in Israel to order to marry her fiancé. She told the Times of Israel, I feel de degraded. Essentially, they are saying they don't recognize my Judaism. I love Rabbi Lukstein. He is my rabbi. He brought me into the world as a Jew and I don't want his conversions not to be recognized. Rabbi Seth Faber, director of ITIM, a group that represents Jewish converts in Israel, condemned the decision. He said, the rabbinical court has humiliated Nicole, cast a shadow over tens of thousands of conversations around the world and has created a crisis of confidence between diaspora, Jewry and Israel's government. However, in a controversial twist, Rabbi Lukstein was later featured on a list of approved overseas rabbis released to the public. The list of certified rabbis was previously kept secret, leaving converts in the dark about whether they would be recognized in Israel. Then, after Donald Trump won the 2016 U.S. presidential election, the Israeli chief rabbinate finally released the list of rabbis it recognizes for conversion and divorce, but not marriage, and Rabbi Lukstein was inexplicably on the list. Some have suggested that it is not a coincidence that the rabbi who sponsored the conversion of Ivanka Trump dump, dub, dubbed the first daughter is now recognized. Ms. Zaitler said, There is a part of me that feels it's a little fishy that now that Trump is president, they want their conversion approved right away. On the other hand, I'm happy that Trump is president, but that this may change things in the system. I mean, isn't this how things happen in the world anyway? Someone super famous and important has to come up and, in this case, be Jewish to make a big change. Alad Kaplan from the IT Advocacy Group suggested that the change was made for diplomatic reasons. He claimed it would be embarrassing for Israel to have Ivanka Trump visit the country without them recognizing her faith, given she is the daughter and senior advisor to the U.S. president, their cl closest international ally. In Judaism, children are only automatically Jewish if their mother is. So Ivanka and Jared's three children would also not be considered Jewish if her conversion was deemed illegitimate. Mr. Kaplan said, it would definitely be embarrassing to the state of Israel and for the rabbinate if a Jewish family like Ivanka Trump's family was to visit Israel and for the official Jewish authorities in Israel to not recognize their Judaism. ITIM fought for six years for the Israeli chief rabbinate to make the list of recognized overseas rabbis public. When they finally public published it, Rabbi Faber hailed it as a victory of transparency. Refle reflecting on why Rabbi Lukstein was previously rejected, he suggested that he might have been too liberal and open-minded. He said, although he is considered one of the most senior rabbis in the Orthodox community in America, there are certain powers that be within the Israeli religious establishment who would love to see rabbis like Rabbi Lukstein derided and denigrated. 
that is it for today's news guys thank you so much for watching goodbye